Question 14. Some children ran in two races on sports day. Here are their times. So this column shows the times for the 100 meter race and this column shows the times for the 800 meter race. And we've got the children's names down the side. Let's have a look at what we've got to do. It says, who finished the 100 meter race in second place? Now remember, with time, the quickest time equals the lowest number of seconds. So the lowest number of seconds is going to be the quickest time. So which person had the lowest number of seconds? Well, the lowest number begins with 15 here. Because we've got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 15 must be the lowest. So Elise must have came first. 16 would be the next lowest. So Terry would have come second. Seven, then 17.1. So Neil would have been third. Then 18.4, so Barry would have been fourth. And finally, the biggest number of seconds was 19.7. So Jake would have came fifth. But he did say who finished the 100 meter race in second place. So second place, according to this, was Terry. So in this answer box, we need to write Terry. Now let's get a second color to look at the next part of the question. This time it says, in the 800 meter race, how many seconds did Barry finish ahead of Elise? So we need to first of all find the times for 800 meters for Barry and Elise. So a quick look back at the table. This column's the 800 meter race. Barry is two minutes 57. So let's make a note of that. So Barry is two minutes 57 seconds. And Elise, is three minutes and two seconds. Let's make a note of that. Three minutes and two seconds. So how many seconds did Barry finish ahead of Elise? He did finish ahead because he has a lower time. Two minutes 57 is shorter than three minutes and two seconds. But the question is, how many seconds is it? So if we start with two minutes 57, and count up until we get to three minutes and two seconds, we will find the time gap. So, because there are 60 seconds in a minute, if you add on three seconds to two minutes 57 seconds, you would get three minutes. And then from three minutes, if you add on two seconds, you would get to three minutes and two seconds. So from 2 minutes to 57 seconds to 3 minutes and 2 seconds, we've got a gap of 3 seconds to take us to 3 minutes. And then a gap of 2 seconds to take us to 3 minutes and 2. So all together it's 3 seconds plus an extra 2 seconds, which makes 5 seconds. So your final answer is 5 seconds.